Krishna drowns his devotees in a pool of ecstasy. Pool of ecstasy. Just for a drop of this ecstasy or ananda, people are prepared to give up their lives. So many people have given up their lives for just a drop of ecstasy. But it's not even a drop of ecstasy, it's a perverted reflection of a drop of ecstasy. In the material nature there is no ananda. Uh, what goes on in the name of Ananda is only a perverted reflection and commonly it is known as happiness. But happiness is not Ananda. Happiness is absence of pain, cessation of pain. All of us in this material nature are in a state of suffering. Dukkhalayam. We are constantly suffering. It's a place of suffering. And when that suffering condition is warded off or removed, then we call it happiness. Dukkha nipritti. Dukkha nipritti. Cessation of suffering. Cessation of pain. Cessation of pain is happiness. But ecstasy or ananda is diametrically opposed to suffering. In simple words it can be described like <clears throat> in a dark room by lighting a lamp we remove the darkness for some time. Only as long as the lamp burns there is some light or removal of darkness. If darkness is compared to suffering, then this uh, lighting a lamp is the arrangement for removing that suffering condition for the time being. That's happiness. But when one comes out of the dark, dark room in the broad daylight the whole atmosphere then is uh, full of light there is when the sun comes up there is no room for darkness when the sun comes up there is no need to light a lamp to remove the darkness the darkness is automatically removed so that is what Ananda is. And there is no Ananda in this material nature. It is exclusively in the spiritual asset. The spirit, just as this world is full of suffering, that world is full of joy. The spiritual world is full of joy. And how the joy is experienced, the center of that ananda is Krishna. Anandamai Abhasat. Anandamai. He is full of joy. He is the source of joy. And whoever becomes connected to him becomes joyful. 